This is a general overview of skeletal muscles. I'm just going to do a quick review of some of the basic superficial skeletal muscles on the anterior side and then the posterior side. As we run through these, try to practice looking at them and identifying them. And then later I'll show you the key for a quick review. My name is Brad Richardson. I've been teaching anatomy for 24 years, trying to make this as simple as possible. There's also a study guide if you want to click below to help you with the muscular system. So let's run through these first on the anterior side. And as we look at the first part, this is temporalis. Temporalis is deep to auricularis superior. So you may see auricularis superiorius. Underneath, I have temporal. So it depends on the model of the charts that you're looking at. As I wrap down, one of our major muscles of the neck, sternocleidomastoid, because it's going from the sternum and clavicle up to the mastoid process to help with flexion of the neck. So sternocleidomastoid. As we come down, one of our major chest muscles, it's a convergent muscle, pectoralis major. As I go inferior to that, coming off the rib cage, I have serratus anterior to help us to protract and push forward as if we're punching. So serratus anterior, biceps brachii, biceps brachii because I have two pieces or two heads, biceps. Then it'll come down to radial tuberosity, but on the anterior side, biceps brachii. As I look, major abdominal muscle, external oblique. Later we'll do a video to break down abdominal muscles, but the most superficial, external oblique. I come down to this muscle, tensor fascia lata. I often call it tensor fascia latte, as remember my coughing muscle. But tensor fascia lata, as I extend down, connects with the, what we call the iliotibial tract or iliotibial band or IT band because this long tendon sheet comes all the way down to the lateral side right at the knee. So tensor fascia latte leads to that IT band. As I come over this way, this one that comes across here, this is sartorius, sartorius, and sartorius is the longest muscle in the body, sartorius. When I wrap over here, one of our quads, this is vastus lateralis, vastus lateralis, and vastus lateralis also has vastus medialis and rectus femoris. If I come back up here, one of my adductor muscles, one of my adductor muscles that we're looking at here is my gracilis. So gracilis is the most medial muscle of the thigh. Sartorius is the longest muscle. We did vastus lateralis, vastus medialis. I come over to the tibial side here and here. It's on the anterior side, so we call it tibialis anterior, tibialis anterior. And then we get down to our extensors. One of our extensors that we'll learn is extensor digitorum longus. We'll also learn extensor hallucis or hallucis longus because they're extending the digits and the big toe. So that's a look at the anterior side as we go to the posterior side. Again, showing you temporalis. We can also see occipitalis, which is the occipital belly of the occipital frontalis muscle. I come over to my major shoulder muscle, the deltoid. Underneath the deltoid, I have infraspinatus. If I took off my deltoid, I could see supraspinatus, so infraspinatus. My major back muscle, latissimus dorsi, latissimus dorsi. Going down to my buttocks, my gluteus maximus. Deep to that would be medius and then minimus, so gluteus maximus. And then we start to look at our hamstrings. The one that's on the lateral side is biceps femoris. This is the long head. You can slightly see the short head sticking out here, biceps referring to two heads along the femur on the posterior side. My other two hamstrings are semitendinosus and semimembranosus that I don't have with an arrow to them, but this is biceps femoris, specifically the long head. You can see that IT tract again. And then we get down to our major calf muscle, gastrocnemius, has two heads. Gastrocnemius, if I go deep to that, I have soleus. So that's a quick view of anterior and posterior sides. Now let me throw in the key and see how well you did. So here's the key, running through them again. Temporalis, 
I have my major neck muscle, and we're going a little bit deep because we took away platysma. This is sternocleidomastoid, my shoulder deltoid, underneath that infraspinatus, major chest muscle, pectoralis major, go down from there, serratus anterior. This says biceps, biceps brachii, there's a long head and a short head. As I come over my major back muscle, latissimus dorsi, to my abs, the most superficial external oblique, my buttocks, gluteus maximus, running down on the lateral side, tensor fascia lata, and then I have my some of my adductor muscles, which includes gracilis, the most medial thigh muscle, my longest muscle of the body, sartorius, part of my quads, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and then I'd have rectus femoris on top, and then deep to that would be vastus intermedius. As I come down to some of my extensors, along the side of the tibia, I have tibialis anterior. Coming down to my digits, extensor digitorum longus. There would also be extensor hallucis longus. My major calf muscles, gastrocnemius. Deep to that would be soleus. And when I look at gastrocnemius, it comes down to what we call the calcaneal tendon, which is the Achilles heel. So this is just a quick review of superficial muscles on the anterior and posterior side. We'll get into future videos to break down different areas of the body.